Hey YouTube, it's Nate Harris. What's going on? I was asked to make a couple videos about my DiskQTV Python scripts, so I'm going to go ahead and do that. Uh, quick background, DiskQTV is uh, this. It's a companion application to a Plex Media server. Uh, it allows you to make live TV channels out of your Plex content and it will uh, you, you, you can make a channel with content from your Plex Media server, organize it however you'd like, uh, add in little commercial breaks, whatever you want, uh, and then it will make a uh, an MP3U playlist, or it'll act as an HD home run, and you can then add that as a live TV source in Plex, Jellyfin, NB, uh, an IPTV streamer app, anything like that, and it will act and look just like a live TV channel that you would normally get from an IPTV service, um, but of course the content uh, on the channel is from your Plex Media server, and you can control the order and the name of the channel and all that type of stuff. It's a really cool application. When I first found out about it uh, pretty early on, I went ahead and made a Python library uh, to interact with it so that you can uh, make some scripts to automate a lot of tasks. So that's what I did. I made a DiskUTV Python library, uh, which is one of the requirements for this, which is a DiskUTV scripts re uh, repository on GitHub that has a lot of scripts where you can automate a bunch of tasks for DiskUTV. Uh, today I'm going to show you specifically how to do a playlist to channel. So I won't go into the installation of DiskUTV. Um, or it, the installation of the DiskUTV scripts repo uh, for uh, both of those you can follow their respective GitHub repos on the scripts. It's just a matter of cloning this repo, installing the requirements, which is the DiskUTV Python library that I wrote, the Python requests library, and the uh, Python Plex API library that's commonly used for automating Plex tasks. Uh, and then uh, each script here is meant to be standalone, so meaning you can hard code values, and you only have to hard code a couple values. And then the all the code that needs to run the script is housed inside that one file. It doesn't rely on any external files, so you can move that script to wherever you would like, on a server or on your computer, and it should be able to run independently without re relying on other files. So let's go ahead and go into it. Today, this is about converting a playlist to a channel. This is actually a commonly asked for feature for DiskUTV. Is unfortunately, while when making a playlist, when making a DiskUTV channel, you can uh, add a playlist. Uh, and I'll go ahead and add all the content from the playlist to the channel. You have to do this manually. People have been asking for a way for it to automatically update. And unfortunately, the way DiskUTV interacts with Plex right now, it's just not possible. Though I know the developer is working on it because it is one of the most highly requested tasks. So I went ahead and made a script using my Python library that can uh, add all of the content from a Plex playlist to a DiskUTV channel. Uh, and it being a script, you can set it up to automatically run every day, every week, whenever you want. So it's it kind of automates the process for you. So I'm going to show you how to set up the script and how to run it. It's actually very simple for our purposes. Um, all you have to do in this script is fill out these three values. You need your DiskUTV URL, which uh, here you can see is uh, my local IP address, port 8000. It's whatever IP address and port uh, your DiskUTV server inst or DiskUTV instance is running on. And then your Plex URL and token. Uh, you can hard code these values here. For my purposes, I've stored them in a separate file and are importing them so I don't expose them on camera. Your Plex URL might be your local IP address port 32400, or if you're using an external IP address or an external domain, you could put that there. And then your Plex token. Uh, I won't get into how to find your Plex token. It's actually very simple. You can Google it. Uh, there's a article on Plex's uh, forums about it. You can also uh, find it through DiskUTV if you'd like actually go into the settings section. If you click on the Plex tab, it'll show a list of all your Plex servers. Click on your Plex server and the little edit button next to it and it'll have your token stored there and that's how you can uh, grab your Plex token. And those are the three values that you need for this script to run. So let's go ahead and set up the script. So what we're going to do is we're going to take a Plex playlist. We're going to take this Treehouse of Horrors playlist that I have on my Plex server, and we're going to make a DiskUTV channel out of it. Uh, I'm going to make it uh, down here at the bottom. I'm going to make a channel uh, out of this playlist. So we're going to go ahead and set up the script. We're going to go Python playlist to channel, and then we need to put in the name of the playlist. So it's Treehouse of Horror. 
And then you can optionally provide a channel number. Um, so if I do uh, dash C90, it's going to go ahead and make this channel 90. Now, if you're going to do that, channel 90 has to already exist. As you can see here, our, my channel 90 doesn't exist. If, you, if channel 90 doesn't exist when you run this, it's going to throw an error. If you don't provide a channel number, it's going to automatically make it the next channel. So for me, since I have a channel 100, and that's my highest number channel, it's going to go ahead and make channel 101 and make that the Treehouse of Horrors channel from this playlist. So that's what I'm going to do. I'm going to go ahead and hit enter here. And it should go ahead and go out to Plex, grab all the items from that uh, Treehouse of Horrors playlist, if it can find it, which it did. And you can see it added all the items here. If we refresh our Disk UTV uh, files here, our Disk UTV UI here, you can see we now have channel 101, Treehouse of Horror, with all of the episodes from the Plex playlist. And it's just that simple. I have some other videos here on this playlist about how to do the opposite, how to take a channel from Disk TV and convert it into a Plex playlist, how to delete uh, in mass Disk TV channels, and how to create in mass Disk TV channels. So those are also here on this playlist. Thank you so much for watching.